This video is brought to you by the crazy aquarium guy. So the dragon puffer, even though I had kept him for a long time and tried many times, was a while ago I tried again. And that is trying to get him on something else than live fish. But as soon as I uploaded the video, of course, some people came up and not a lot, but still immediately two people came up and said, wasn't that hard to get him on. Uh, my fish has eaten uh, shrimps and other stuff for years. And as soon as someone said that, uh, I got a little bit competitive, I must admit. So I spent a month in boot camp with my dragon puffer and now he eats every other day instead of two times a week he eats every other day and you know what he eats he eats frozen shrimp and he eats repashi and he actually eats uh, pure blends of super green almost pure blends like 80 percent super green and 10 percent bottom scratcher 20% bone scratcher, obviously, and other mixes with the grub pie, and he loves rupashi, and that's not the perfect thing for his uh, beaks, but the dragon puffer has different beaks than, uh, let's say, Amazon puffers and uh, Mabu puffers and Vaka puffers. Uh, the beaks on them are a lot smaller and doesn't grow all the time like it does on the other ones, because this puffer is a lurker, and eats a lot of fish not just hard foods like the bigger puffers or the amazon puffer so it's not the same problem so now he eats rupashi and i'm gonna show you while i feed him rupashi so forget everything i said in the last video uh, pretty much <laughs> and thank you so much i reached uh, 3000 subscribers that is a really big thing for me personally because when I started I said to myself if I only reach 3,000 subscribers then I don't even need more that's enough because that's enough people to have a community and change thoughts and ideas and still being able to answer all questions and comments like I still do so huge milestone but of course now when I'm at 3,000 my next goal is 10,000 obviously then yeah I will have that community page also so that's gonna be fun if we get there and when we get there but I'm gonna do everything I can to get there but thank you so much 3,000 first big goal for me personally so that was great to see that I think it was Saturday when I up just went to watch on my page and updated the page and then saw 3009 or something so that was really nice to see thank you so much for that but let's go and take a quick look at my dragon puffer eating rapashi different times so i really show that that wasn't just a freak thing he has been eating rapashi like 10 times now so he loves it apparently and shrimp we're gonna show you shrimp as well so let's go. So here we go. I'm gonna feed him some mix. Today it's 50% grub pie and 50% super green. He knows what's coming now. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> I think he saw the piece in the reflection of the glass. No, you want it. There we go. So he really likes rapashi, and that's a big relief for me. A lot cheaper to feed him rapashi, a lot easier than to keep live fish in the fish room and feed him. So all I did wrong was <laughs> I didn't starve my fish long enough. That was what I learned when I talked to the other guys that kept dragon puffers. So my love for the fish went in the way of keeping the fish eating something else than live fish. 
So from live fish to shrimp and rapashi. That's a good trade. It's a lot better. It's gonna grow pretty fast now. When I can feed him every other day with rapashi. It has a lot more nutrients in it for the fish. Didn't want that last piece apparently. Now it's shrimp time. Same with this, keeping frozen shrimp, I can take out one at a time, peel it, put it in, it's packed with protein. I mean, obviously that's a lot easier than to just feed him live fish all the time. And I don't enjoy watching fish eat fish, so I'm so relieved that my last boot camp training went well. Now he loves to eat dead stuff <laughs> so the best trick with the dragon puffer is to feed him whatever he wants and get him starting to eat and then get him dead stuff because I tried immediately to feed him dead stuff a lot in the beginning and he didn't he didn't want to eat that now it's so so much fun watching him eat rapashi and shrimp and munches on on it. And every time I go near the tank, now this tank is on the floor, I sit down in front of the tank, I can see if he is hungry because he's coming up and he has really big eyes and looking at me like, is it, is it time to get food? So it's a lot more fun than to give him live fish. He will still get the occasional guppy that's, that comes out with the bent back or something. A deformed fish. I will still give it to the puffer because it's quick and painless. I've, I had, I tried feeding a live fish in between, but he still went for the rapashi the next day, so... I wanted to try that just because I need to feed him, like I said, deformed stuff every now and then, either way. So, this was a lot of fun. I'm so relieved. Now I can keep my Dragon Puffer a lot longer. <laughs>